I mean, the temperature is in Celsius. This is probably the most scientifically accurate game ever made. It's $5 game reviews. I'm absurd. This is our channel, not the worst. And today we're taking a look at Thrive. I am not kidding about the scientific accuracy here. You play as a cell at the beginning of life on an alien planet, but Thrive also kind of plays like a speed run through a cellular biology class. Resources are all real chemical names. Energy is measured in ATP, adenine triphosphate, the actual chemical that cells use to transport energy and use energy in real life in the world. They take scientific accuracy seriously in developing this game, and my inner STEM nerd is a big fan. Thankfully, all of these mechanics are actually incorporated pretty well into a straightforward leveling and surviving gameplay loop. You start out as a simple cell, you float around collecting resources to level up, and just quick note about the details in this game, if you zoom in on your cell as you grow, you can see proteins and organelles in your cell dividing one by one. It's super cool. Once you can divide though, you go to the microbe editor, and here's where you get a ton of information. It took me a while to learn what it all meant. Once you learn it, it's really cool, but that was a bit of a process. You always get 100 mutation points, which you can spend on new abilities that come in the form of proteins and organelles. You stack them onto your cell, and when you return to the survival gameplay, a few million years have passed and all the other species floating around you have evolved to kind of represent the amount of time that it would really take to evolve into a completely new species. The game has a pretty steep learning curve. I personally didn't read the tutorial super well, so I spent a long time making just some dumb mistakes, but the learning process sucked me in in a way that very few games have. It was a lot of fun to figure out the strategies that would grow your population or would make it easier to play in the survival part of the game. Since this game is in early development, winning just consists of growing your population to a large enough size that you get the title screen that says, you have thrived. According to the devs, the real ending of this game will come after you evolve into animals and you evolve intelligent life and then your intelligent life develops tech out of this tech tree so that you can grow and become a spacefaring empire that spans the galaxy. Unfortunately, at the current rate of development, this ambitious goal will take 12 and a half years to make. They do release updates. As they become playable, they released an update while I was recording this video, but 12 years is a long time to wait. Obviously, an indie studio isn't going to have the manpower to pump out a game like this in just a few years, but the studio behind Thrive isn't just indie, it is almost entirely volunteers. Revolutionary Games, the studio behind Thrive, is developing it as an open source game, meaning it is technically completely free to download using a GitHub link. If you are interested though, you can go donate to their Patreon, please do. Or you can buy it from Steam. The proceeds do go towards Revolutionary Games. Right now, Hi Rylanen, the main developer and project manager, is working pretty much entirely alone because the other volunteers have been too busy with work or school. Thrive is a great example of what I want to see in an early development title. It is unique, it is focused, and well-made, all things considered. I certainly would expect a lot less if I knew going into this that this was being developed entirely by volunteers working part-time. If you like strategy sims, check it out. You can buy it on Steam for about $5 or skip Steam and download it for free, but please do throw a few bucks towards Revolutionary Games Patreon at patreon.com slash thrive game or in the description. Thanks for watching this not the worst game review. I am absurd and I will catch you next time. I escaped, didn't I? I? I did escape. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Ah, okay. Ah, this is really obnoxious. Maybe if I move, if I move back to this patch, I should keep my. Uh, which is like.